This sound feels so nostalgic for most of the world. It resonates the old times when trains have been one of the main transportation systems to most parts of the world. Simply put, trains can be quite old-fashioned in a lot of ways. I mean, who would venture to a long-distance travel through a train when we have the airplane that can bring us to places conveniently? Japan, of all the countries of the world, challenges this convenient thought. Japan, being one of the highly technological countries in Asia and the world, boasts of its world record breaking, the Maglev L0 passenger train, which has been under testing since its press release in November of 2012. With its amazing speed of 374 miles per hour, this technically advanced train is intended to run on the Shoshin Kansen line a route between the Japanese capital Tokyo and the provincial city of Osaka. Amazed just yet? Let us know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to New Technology Channel. The first phase of this train mega project will run about two-thirds of the way to Nagoya, Japan by around 2027. The trail stretch to Osaka will come into play in rough 2045, approximately 100 years after Japan look at their maglev technology. To amaze us even more, 85% of this 47 billion construction of the phase to Nagoya city will run in tunnels which will enable the travel from the capital to the provincial city a distance of about 185 miles in just 40 minutes. Once the road to Osaka, which is approximately 250 miles away from the capital, opens, the travel time will blast to just 1 hour and 7 minutes. This is but a massive time saving compared to airport check-ins and city center train station locations. Who would have thought that this is even possible for a simple train to advance such a speed? The total cost of the route construction to Osaka is expected to be $100 billion or so. This is due to the different technologies associated with the construction of maglevs in order to achieve their breathtaking speeds. The first one is the concept alluded to magnetic levitation. The system uses only a single moving part, which is the train itself. This Japanese system is called the SC Maglev. Maglev uses a system of superconductive magnets that push the train away from its track in a U-shaped guideway and hold it in position. This does the trick so as the train does not actually sit on anything, but hovers over short distance above the track so the main source of friction is eliminated, thereby making the unimaginable speed possible. The second magnet system is used to propel the train through the alignment of poles on the magnets to push the train away using repelling forces on one hand and pull it forward using attracting ones on the other hand. When the system is maintained to a low temperature, it is particularly efficient. Since it does not use much of moving parts, it only means that it is actually cheaper and more reliable to run. The lack of friction produces the fast speed. While these are not mesmerizing enough, there are other benefits to maglev systems, including a smooth ride created by the total rack of contact with the train rack. It is also impossible for a maglev train to catch up with another train since the track controls the speed. So, the speed is the same for every train traveling on the track, thereby eliminating the possibility of train collision. That being said, there are obviously a lot of requirements to have the world's fastest train or any maglev train. But these are not enough to stop the nearby countries like China and South Korea to run the same system. China has the same train system already functional in Shanghai. This is also true to South Korea's train track between Seoul and its southern coastline. One requirement for such a system is the specific track layout for the maglev, specifically designed for it which cannot be shared with one more conventional trains, making it a very expensive track setup. Moreover, the smooth speed of the train means that it needs minimal and slight curves, which can be a limiting factor, specifically on the location. 
practically, putting tunnels in the train track has raised issues on its environmental impact on the water levels in local rivers. This has been the major delaying factor in Japan. The financial consequences of the COVID-19 virus pandemic also has a major impact on the project's finances since passengers would rather use the more conventional rail system. This may delay the launch of the project to its full completion. Nevertheless, the project is still progressing and plans to offer Tokyo Olympic trial rides to international audience. The Maglev L0, the train being trialed in Japan by the JR Central Japanese Railway Company, built the technology to the highest level to push the speed out to 374 miles per hour. In its trials, the top speed is expected to top out at close to 300 miles an hour and could still be faster in experimental conditions. To date, it is already possible for tourists to experience the train by booking on the Yamanashi Maglev test line. It was actually the 26-mile circuit on which train the broke its speed record of pulling no less than 7 coaches at a time. The train has also traveled 2,500 miles in a single day of testing. The most recent model of the Japanese Maglev launched in the May of 2020. It is literally called the Improved Maglev L0. The model included improvement to the power system to be providing through the track. It also developed the aerodynamics of the front car as well as adding on an onboard generator. If the power is cut, the train will simply glide to a stop. The aerodynamic improvements are important to the speed of the train. It also cuts the noise to make the train more comfortable in an everyday commercial environment. Obviously, this latest model is very unlikely to be the final version of the train. Designer Motowaki Terai told the media that the latest version achieves 80 to 90 percent of the train's ultimate design goals. For now, the actual train consists of a combination of the two different models, running some new and older carriages. Once in practical use, the train will make the travel time between Tokyo and Osaka around two and a half hours by train by more than 50 percent. It is just fair to assume that the media were impressed seeing the technology on the test track which has hosted over 2 million test miles so far in a little under 3 minutes. It was reported to have reached 310 miles per hour, its top commercial operating speed. Keisuke Umeda, a reporter who experienced the test run in the newest version, narrated that he tried placing a plastic drink bottle in the drink holder to check the vibrations inside the train carriage. He said it moved a little but basically remained stable. Meanwhile, there is a talked about projects on maglevs on the way to the US too, with a proposed northeastern corridor route between Washington DC and Baltimore, incorporating New York. Discussing on whether the construction can begin was put to a halt under Trump administration due to a lack of support. Meanwhile, the Virgin Hyperloop and Elon Musk's boring company are also using the similar technology. That being said, functioning maglevs remain a rare invention around the world, but they are efficient and relatively friendly and providing middle distance transport at exceptionally fast speed notwithstanding the time spent in airport check-ins. Japan's development is not in full blast yet as a functional piece of transportation. But when it is finally done, it sure will be a market leading around the world. How about you? Would you want a first-hand experience of this modern transportation? Or the better question may be, is it worth the billions of dollars? Let us know in the comments below. See you in our next video.